I don't understand how retired Senator Bioli, her eye surgeon, DA Meany, or the Ashland Police Department sleep at night. My daughter was a person. I am a person. One that knows they are not perfect and have hurt people in the past, especially my parents. Close to a decade later, and it still deeply bothers me, and I'm just very extremely grateful, uh, you know, to still have them in my life. They are people too, amazing people that also lost their first grandbaby and have to watch these people's amazingly hurtful actions as well. But I seriously wouldn't be able to live with myself if I knew I put another human through anything near they, what they have been dishing out on me and my family. Having to hear about Beulie at the scene, protecting her image, acting like it was just a little accident to people, when a beautiful five-year-old American girl and her mother were just killed when she hit them. Having to find out the police ignored those witnesses. Having to see the police wrongfully release the incomplete packet just so Janet could build a defense and be able to retire with no pressure to resign, knowing the woman was a day out of cataract surgery on the way to the appointment where one gets cleared to drive and had prescription meds from the surgery in her system and was on a distracting interview during the accident. Having to have to hear the DA have no clue what the actual records say that he supposedly waited uh, over six months for so he could make his charging decision. Instead, he interviewed the doctor who claims he decided to let her be the first human ever to not give a restriction to. And of course, DA Meany just ignored the obvious and didn't even question this. I've had to watch as this turns into an obvious cover-up to protect a senator and let them retire on the American taxpayer's dime. People start to see, and instead of doing the right thing and ending this super painful charade, they just start to rub it in. First, her lawyers threaten me with a cease and desist, you know, bring me more troubles in my life because they don't want people poking around this case and seeing how obviously horrible their actions have been. Seems like common sense to me. If you don't want your public image to be ruined, maybe not do things that would ruin it. Now, they make it uh, obvious that they are hiding evidence after the DA admitted to me on the phone that there was prescription meds in Beulie's system, but refusing to say what. Hit it in a statement by saying what was not in her system and leaving out what was then simply not releasing the failed toxicology with the rest of the evidence that should have been made public and already would be if this was you or me. Not only did they pick and choose uh, what to release, but as I understand, you have to have subpoena powers to even request uh, any information, and anything you do manage to get has some kind of confidentiality with it so we can't even show it to the public. How is that a public release? Not only was I unable to protect my daughter in life, but it truly feels they're just rubbing it in my face that I can't get a lick of justice, no matter how clear it becomes that it is deserved. How much is one man expected to take? It really don't matter because I will always have the strength to stand up for my daughter. I wish lie detectors were used and stood up in court. I'd gladly get hooked up to one and people could ask me if I'm uh, telling the truth. Would Bioli to be asked if she was on, the, on restriction? Would the doctor to be asked the same and to give a good reason as to why, uh, if he didn't, why she was the first human ever to not get one? Would the DA, if he was asked about his mountain of inconsistencies, I think this would make a great television special. I'm down. If these people are so innocent, I wish they could prove it. Even if I was wrong, I'd maybe get some kind of closure. But so far, their actions have done nothing but raise more questions every step of the way till it became obvious that my poor little girl was never even going to get a chance at justice. These people can be responsible for taking our babies from us essentially rub it in our faces as we're trying to mourn our loved ones, and we can't do a thing about it. 
Uh, the only thing we might be able to do is hope for enough of a public outcry for justice big enough that they can't ignore it. So please, make some noise with me till there's some true justice for Callie. The beautiful little girl in the background of this video, she certainly deserves it.